Amide, Wikipedia article audio. An amide, also known as an acid amide, is a compound with the functional group RNEXNR2. Most common are carboxamides, but many other important types of amides are known, including phosphoramides and sulfonamides. The term amide refers both to classes of compounds and to the functional group XNR2 within those compounds. Amide can also refer to the conjugate base of ammonia or of an organic amine. For discussion of these anionic amides, see alkali metal amides. Structure and bonding Nomenclature the remainder of this article is about the carbonyl nitrogen sense of amide. The simplest amides are derivatives of ammonia wherein one hydrogen atom has been replaced by an acyl group. The ensemble is generally represented as RCNH2 and is described as a primary amide. Closely related and even more numerous are secondary amides which can be derived from primary amines and have the formula RCNHR. Tertiary amides are commonly derived from secondary amines and have the general structure RCNRR. Amides are usually regarded as derivatives of carboxylic acids in which the hydroxyl group has been replaced by an amine or ammonia. The lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is delocalized into the carbonyl, thus forming a partial double bond between N and the carbonyl carbon. Consequently, the nitrogen in amides is not pyramidal. It is estimated that acetamide is described by resonance structure A for 62% and by B for 28%. In the usual nomenclature, one adds the term amide to the stem of the parent acid's name. For instance, the amide derived from acetic acid is named acetamide. IUPAC recommends ethan amide, but this and related formal names are rarely encountered. When the amide is derived from a primary or secondary amine, the substituents on nitrogen are indicated first in the name. Thus, the amide formed from dimethylamine and acetic acid is N, and dimethyl acetamide. Usually even this name is simplified to dimethyl acetamide. Cyclic amides are called lactams, they are necessarily secondary or tertiary amides. Functional groups consisting of PNR2 and SO2NR2 are phosphonamides and sulfonamides, respectively. Some chemists make a pronunciation distinction between the two, saying slash mi d slash for the carbonyl nitrogen compound and slash e ma d slash for the anion. Others replace one of these with slash aem d slash, while still others pronounce both slash aem d slash making them homonyms. Pronunciation Compared to amines, amides are very weak bases. While the conjugate acid of an amine has a pKa of about 9.5, the conjugate acid of an amide has a pKa around minus 0.5. Therefore, amides don't have as clearly noticeable acid-base properties in water. This relative lack of basicity is explained by the electron withdrawing nature of the carbonyl group where the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is delocalized by resonance. On the other hand, amides are much stronger bases than carboxylic acids, esters, aldehydes, and ketones. It is estimated in silico that acetamide is represented by resonance structure A for 62% and by B for 28%. Resonance is largely prevented in the very strained quinuclidone. Because of the greater electronegativity of oxygen, the carbonyl is a stronger dipole than the NC dipole. The presence of AC equals O dipole and to a lesser extent ANC dipole, 
allows amides to act as H-bond acceptors. In primary and secondary amides, the presence of NH dipoles allows amides to function as H-bond donors as well. Thus amides can participate in hydrogen bonding with water and other protic solvents, the oxygen atom can accept hydrogen bonds from water and the NH hydrogen atoms can donate H bonds. As a result of interactions such as these, the water solubility of amides is greater than that of corresponding hydrocarbons. Properties the proton of a primary or secondary amide does not dissociate readily under normal conditions, its pKa is usually well above 15. Conversely, under extremely acidic conditions, the carbonyl oxygen can become protonate with a pKa of roughly minus 1. The solubilities of amides and esters are roughly comparable. Typically amides are less soluble than comparable amines and carboxylic acids since these compounds can both donate and accept hydrogen bonds. Tertiary amides, with the important exception of N, and dimethylformamide, exhibit low solubility in water. The presence of the functional group is generally easily established, at least in small molecules. They are the most common non-basic functional group. They can be distinguished from nitro and cyano groups by their IR spectra. Amides exhibit a moderately intense CO band near 1650 cm-1. By 1HNMR spectroscopy, CONHR signals occur at low fields. In X-ray crystallography, the CN center together with the three immediately adjacent atoms characteristically define a plane. Basicity Amides are pervasive in nature and technology as structural materials. The amide linkage is easily formed, confers structural rigidity, and resists hydrolysis. Nylons are polyamides, as are the very resilient materials aramid, taurin, and kevlar. Amide linkages constitute a defining molecular feature of proteins, the secondary structure of which is due in part to the hydrogen bonding abilities of amides. Amide linkages in a biochemical context are called peptide bonds when they occur in the main chain of a protein and isopeptide bonds when they occur to a side chain of the protein. Proteins can have structural roles, such as in hair or spider silk, but also nearly all enzymes are proteins. Low molecular weight amides, such as dimethylformamide N2, are common solvents. Many drugs are amides, including paracetamol, penicillin, and LSD. Moreover, Plant and alkyl amides have a wide range of biological functionalities. Solubility Many methods exist in amide synthesis. On paper, the simplest method for making amides is by coupling a carboxylic acid with an amine. In general this reaction is thermodynamically favorable, however it suffers from a high activation energy largely due to the amine first deprotonating the carboxylic acid, which reduces its reactivity. As such the direct reaction often requires high temperatures. Characterization Many methods are known for driving the equilibrium to the right. For the most part these reactions involve activating the carboxylic acid by first converting it to a better electrophile such as esters, acid chlorides, or anhydrides. Conventional methods in peptide synthesis use coupling agents such as HATU, HOBT, or PIBOP. In recent years there has also been a surge in the development of boron reagents for amide bond formation, including catalytic use of 2-iodophenylboronic acid or MIBA, and trisborate.
the seemingly simple direct reaction between an alcohol and an amine to an amide was not tried until 2007 when a special ruthenium-based catalyst was reported to be effective in a so-called dehydrogenative acylation. Applications and Occurrence the generation of hydrogen gas compensates for unfavorable thermodynamics. The reaction is believed to proceed by one dehydrogenation of the alcohol to the aldehyde followed by formation of a hemiaminal and the after a second dehydrogenation to the amide. Elimination of water in the hemiaminal to the imine is not observed. A direct generation of amide from aryl alkyl ketones has been accomplished via copper catalyzed CC bond cleavage in the presence of diisopropylamine at moderate temperature. The transformation steps for amide formation comprise catalytic generation of a bromocarbonyl species followed by nucleophilic displacement of bromide with sodium azide in the presence of diisopropylamine. The final step involves the formation of imine by heating in situ followed by hydrolysis to give the related amide. Amides undergo many chemical reactions, although they are less reactive than esters. Amides hydrolyze in hot alkali as well as in strong acidic conditions. Acidic conditions yield the carboxylic acid and the ammonium ion while basic hydrolysis yield the carboxylate ion and ammonia. Amides are also versatile precursors to many other functional groups. Electrophiles attack the carbonyl oxygen. This step often precedes hydrolysis, which is catalyzed by both Bronsted acids and Lewis acids. Enzymes, e.g. peptidases, and artificial catalysts, are known to accelerate the hydrolysis reactions. Amide synthesis Other methods Amide reactions <laughs>